Hey, what's up guys? And today I'm gonna be going over the Dream Summon Special, just a easy video for me to edit to get back into things. But yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys my opinion on the best character in Dragon to Dream Summon. Of course, the best pick is whoever you like, but to keep things interesting for the sake of the video, I'll recommend some stuff and also explain why. Please do keep in mind that if you plan on Dream Summoning, please do it on the very last day so you don't accidentally get the character that you bought from the ongoing daily pools, okay? So if you ask any player who they recommend in Dream Summon, 99% of the time, they'll probably recommend Grace. And I am also recommending Grace as well. She's great for new players and also the quote quote veteran players. Why is she so good? Well, she's a healer that doesn't really heal. Instead of healing, Grace has a skill one that drops her current HP to 30% and the amount of HP lost, that value is granted to the whole team in the form of a life shield. Grace is like the only unit in the entire game that grants life shields to this capacity and her life shield is going to make solo runs for almost everything in this game 10 times easier because life shields prevent knockback and they also negate afflictions such as burn, curse, poison, and etc. So with that being said, you can even use Grace off element, she's not just good in light fights. Grace is almost used in every single full auto team out there. Now, she does have some other pros. Grace has the ability to dispel with her force strike and her kit synergizes very well with double buff teams which are used very often in full auto. If you don't have Grace, then you should probably pick her up. I'd say she's hands down, no question, the most useful character to get in this entire dream summon and definitely worth it if you see yourself playing this game for a very, very long time because she helps a ton with auto farming. Honestly speaking, I do not think any other character is worth the money. If you have some extra money lying around and you just want to dream summon for the sake of collecting, then maybe some limited characters might interest you. There's DY Cleo, Halloween El San, and Yasu. As for limited dragons, there's DY Jean and Marishidan. All five of these units are not worth the money for their usage, but you can get them if you want for the sake of collecting. I guess DY Cleo and Yasu have some pretty good co-abilities, but imagine spending about $15 for just co-abilities. Now as for dragons, I think there's only one dragon in here that's worth it and that's GNC. This dragon can basically be used on any water character whether it be DPS, support, or a healer. Her skill is absolutely broken because she puts down a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and gradually fills the skill gauges of characters inside the zone. It's extremely good for bursting down bosses and I feel like she's very very future proof. Remember that the Master Twins fight is coming out after Master Ciela, so if you're someone who has a character ready for that fight but don't necessarily have a good water dragon, then GNC may be worth picking up. She is also worth sunstoning to max, but I would definitely wait until you absolutely need her to sunstone her. Now the skill damage dragons are pretty decent for new players to get you started because even at zero on binds, these skill damage dragons can carry you a long way until endgame co-op. However, I don't 100% recommend getting these dragons because I think you can get by early game with just 4 star strength dragons, but I wouldn't really criticize anyone for picking up a skill damage dragon either. Having a good dragon is a big factor that determines how well your character is going to perform. It's just a bit iffy because there are Gala dragons out that are better than some of these. There's, you know, Gala Mars and Gala Cat. But you know, even if you dream summon, let's say, Shinobi right now and get Gala Cat later, Shinobi still has value on your AI allies for solo content, so it's not that bad. For the players that have just started their Agio farming, I think Vayu has the highest priority among all the skill damage dragons since Master Ciela has just released. It's up to you though, it really depends how much in a hurry you are to start farming, you know? Realistically speaking, I think there's only 3-4 to four units to consider. There's Grace, GNC, and maybe Vayu considering the events that are out. Grace has high priority over everything in my opinion, but at the end of the day, it's your money so pick whoever you like. As I always say, gotcha games are a lot more fun to play when you're using your favorites. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you drop a comment down below and tell us who you guys dream summoned and why. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.